Look at that leaf. Good afternoon, Dino. So it's Nikki here. We are Friday. I'm all done work today. It's beautiful. It's bliss and it's boss and it's so friggin' gorgeous out. And I'm about to go strut some stuff downtown. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna go to the sex shop and go buy some new stuff. Cause like, why the frig wouldn't I? I need some new lingerie and I need some new bras and I need some new underwear. And before we do that, I guess they're not in the shot, but I got new shoes. So. It actually worked out pretty perfectly because why not also go through new shoes? They were supposed to come in today and they weren't here when I was leaving to go to work this morning. So I had to wear these shoes again, which there's nothing really wrong with the shoes that I have now, except everything's wrong with them. There's nothing really wrong with the shoes that I have now, except everything's wrong with them. There's nothing really wrong with the shoes that I have now, except everything's wrong with them. So we'll start with this side, this, the right foot. Oh, it was detached. That's always fun. I was walking with it detached, but yeah, this strap came detached like a week, week and a half ago. And I basically just, just been shoving it back in the hole, hoping for the best. And then if you look at the bottom, the like plastic stubby things on the bottom of both the heels, I kind of ripped those off because they started to fall off and I didn't like how they looked half on, half off. So I was just like, rip. But that is okay because I have new shoes so I can retire those shoes to the all of shoes that I have destroyed. I don't know. We'll find a better name for it. Oh my gosh. But I did my first Just Fab, Just Fab or Fab Fit Fun? Just Fab. I did my first Just Fab shipment. So I got two friggin' pairs of shoes here and I am pumped. So like, rawr. And it's a nice pink, I guess we should go through the box. The bag, it's just like a bag, but like, it's a bag. The box, it's a box, it's pink, it says just fab on it. There's a scanny code there, I'm presuming that's for the kind of shoes. We got some wrapping, oh, these are the sandal ones. So we're gonna go with these ones today, I think. What size did I do? Did I do the right size? Please tell me I did the right size. These look a bit big. But yeah, I got some nice wedgie sandals to go on today. So that's what we're gonna be wearing as we strut around town. We'll try them on now, how the frig those just pop off like that. And then I just slide that through here. And then I gotta pop this one off and slide that through here. And then I just slide my foot in through here. Oh, those new, oh, there's a zipper in the back of the foot too. These are way too big. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a thing. You know what? That is okay. So, I done goofed. I guess I'm not size 10. I don't f know. I thought I was a size 10 because those heels are size 10 and they are a little bit too big. Yes, but these are, I guess, size 10. I thought I ordered size eight, but size eight is too small and these are too big. So I don't know what size I ordered, but I ordered a size. I really wish they'd say on the box with a shoe, you know, what size I ordered. No sizing, but they are way too fucking big. Sad face. I mean, it's not that big, it's just like, okay, I guess you can't even see them, but I'm just holding them. I'll put them both on and see if it feels different when I'm wearing both of them, but, oh, we got a receipt thing. Maybe this, no, that's just a piece of cardboard. Where the it's the sizing. That's all I want to know. Obviously, it's not a size four. Oh, here we go. 9.5. So I did order 9.5 because 10 was too big. 8 was too small. So I thought 9.5 was my size, but I guess that's not my size. And now I have two shoes that are going to be too big. But that's okay. F you think I'd have a handle on life at this point in time? I'm 22 years old. I don't like these anymore. <laughs> I loved them when I was looking at them online. And then I ordered them too big. F my life. That's okay. Well, these are way too big, but that is okay. So let's just kind of go down and see how they look. So if I bring my heel all the way back to the end of the heel, there is a lot of shoe there. 
If I bring it all the way forward to the front, there was a lot of space at the back. If I bring it in the middle, it looks all right. Just really big. So like, that's a thing. But that's okay. So let's get on to the next pair of shoes then because I still need to go to the sex shop and go get some lingerie and some underwear and some other stuff. Oh, there's a flyer? They sent me a flyer? Oh, here's all the sizes too. Rawr, okay. Was this one the wedge or the sandal? This is the wedges. So there's also a sandal. And I have a VIP membership program. I'll read all that later, that's a lot of reading. Where's the box? The box is over here. Okay, so let's get into these ones now, shall we? Oh, I like these ones a lot better. Oh, I remember why I bought these ones now. Okay, Ferrari. These are the ones I'm wearing today. These ones, buy sandals. So I can just unzip the back and slide it on and off. I don't need to deal with the straps each time. Let's get the boss ass heels on. Okay, I'm officially in love. In love. <laughs> I don't know what it is about these heels, but I fucking love them. I'm living for these heels right now. I don't know how to tie them, but I'm getting there. These ones I have to tie and lace up, so it's like lacing fucking shoes, and it's a struggle. It's not a struggle, it's just time consuming. I want to put my heels on and have them on. I don't want to have to freaking mess around. And I don't know how I feel about having those dangly things in the back there, but we're gonna try it out and see. These fit a lot better than the other ones, that's for sure. How am I supposed to tie them? Like, is there supposed to be a certain way to tie them? Do I just kind of casually leave them? What if I bring them around here and tie them in the front? How does that look? Does that look slightly better? No, yes, maybe so. Stick around and see the show. Make them all even, pretty, and get ready to go. That's not the way I'm supposed to be doing it. I'm supposed to put them on this one. Okay, so they're even now. Let's wrap them around. I don't like them wrapped around either. Like this. We'll just hide the laces under my jeans. I kind of like them. Oh, they give me height. They give me such good height. Okay, let's try the other one on and see how it feels. They feel weird walking and hold, having them on my feet, but that could also just be like that new shoe kind of feel where it's like, what am I wearing on my feet right now? But they are amazing. I love them. Like, look at these shoes. Mar. 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 Are. Okay, so with that, they're on. I think I may need to change the outfit because the jeans don't really completely go with them, but that's okay. I don't know, maybe they do, and I'm just kind of in my head. Or maybe I'm supposed to put them on on top of the jeans? I don't freaking know. So these ones are all strappy, strappy, and then they go up like that onto the shoe. I have them tied in the front. I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to do with the ties yet but we'll figure that out as we go. I fucking love these heels though. That's one thing I know for sure. Okay, right. Okay, but I'm all changed in my shoes. I'm gonna go figure out what to do with these jeans because they don't really work that well. And then I'm gonna go get some lingerie, so I guess I'll see y'all later. So I've tried all my shoes, I've gotten all changed, I'm all ready to go. I've also ran into work, ran back from work because I thought I had a client book in, which ended up not to be a client at all. Well, I mean, they did book in and they just booked in for tomorrow, but I didn't have to go into work and I ran up there anyways. So like that killed about an hour. And now here we are getting ready to freaking go to the sex shop. I don't know if I'm gonna buy toys or if I'm going to buy lingerie or if I'm gonna buy both or what I'm gonna buy, but I know I wanna go to the sex shop. So that's where we're off to. And I guess I'll see you either at the sex shop or after because I'm not sure if I'm gonna be recording in there. And even if I can record in there, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to post what I record on YouTube. So like, I really should try to watch what I do for monetization purposes, but like, I do what I want. 
that's a thing. Rawr. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm all back from the sex shop. I got my toys, I got my clothes, I got my shoes. Life is freaking good. And that is my triple threat for the day. Hopefully I will remember it by the time we get to the end. Obviously, this is lingerie, so I'm not going to be putting it on because I would like to still try to be somewhat monetized in this video because the past two videos got partially demonetized and I'm pretty sure that's because I was cursing and not bleeping it out. So, not past two videos from here, but past two videos from uploaded today. So, get ready with me when I got dumped and then ice cream rant of not cheesecake, but the one before that because we've done, no, yes, the one before cheesecake, caramel, I think. But yeah, so we got lingerie, and on top of that, I don't know if anyone else does this. Normally it's done with grocery shopping, not lingerie shopping, but I went to go pick up some lingerie today, and then I started browsing, and the next thing you know, I bought a vibrator. So that kind of happened. But I mean, it's a good investment, like Frigg. Maybe I won't hoe it around so much, because like, if I get an urge, I can just be like, yo, I'm gonna go play with my toy. <gasps> it is hot as balls in this room. So, yes, I got a vibrator. Didn't plan on getting one, but you know, it was just there. It looked so tempting and so beautiful and so gorgeous. I mean, it's kind of penis shaped, so I probably shouldn't. I don't fucking know if I want to. I might blur it out later, but we're gonna go over it now because it's just too fucking beautiful not to show. Like, it's so fucking gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. It's my little baby. My new little baby. Oh, I like that mode. I'm gonna have fun with this tonight. So, anyways, what lingerie did I get? Well, I got, oh, it has pictures of the back and the front, so I could've seen how it looked from the back. But anyways, first one, I got this little thing, which basically laces up in the front. I figured that would be freaking cute. Goes all the way down, so it's a one-piece bodysuit. Goes underneath, you stand in, pull it up, lace it up. Bam, you're good to go. That's underwear. The next one is kind of the same as the pink one I have now, except more and more and more ripped. So there's like everything ripped all over it, except for in the front where it has a strip of actual fabric to hide your tits and whatever junk you got in the trunk. So I'm pretty pumped for this one. I'm flashing my lingerie as people are driving by. Hey, what can I say? Then I got some crotchless panties, back crotchless, not front crotchless, because I need my rear entry to be available for the guys. Speaking of, there's a guy right there. And then, these ones aren't crotchless, but they're all laced up in the back, so like, that's a thing. The thing I'm most excited to go play with is this. So I think I'm gonna be ending it here for the day. Daddy was gonna be coming over. I'm gonna see if this can do a better job than that. Rawr. <laughs> Mommy, I bought my first vibrator. Hi. So what brought me to buy, this is so fucking weird. There's a guy sitting there staring at me with a vibrator in my hand. But you know what, we're continuing anyways. So what brought me to buy a vibrator today? Well, I was walking down to the sex shop to buy my lingerie and out of the corner of my eye, I saw my roommate. So I went over and I started talking to my roommate and they were like, yo, you're going to the sex shop. I was like, yeah, why? I was like, are you getting toys? And I was like, I might get some toys. I'm probably gonna get some lingerie. And then they were like, if you get a toy, I'm probably gonna use your charger. 
because their charger broke, so okay. their charger broke, so now we're sharing chargers, I guess, which is kind of weird to think about, but yeah. If this charger works in their device, and it's kind of touch mental in my device, the girl at the desk who sold it to me had a little bit of a hard time putting it in, but I got it in the charging port. I didn't get it in me yet, but yeah. So the whole reason I bought a vibrator today was because my roommate needs a charger for their vibrator. So now we can share chargers when we need to charge our vibrators. <laughs> Hashtag roommate goals. I think so. We almost went sex shop and sex toy shopping together. So, I mean, that would have been even ultimate roommate goals, going to the sex shop and buying your sex toys together. Okay. Where am I going with this? Well, it is the end of the day for me. Not really. It's probably only like seven o'clock, but I want to go play with my toy. That's what I want to do. I want to go play with my toy. Why? Because I fucking bought a new toy. I opened it because it was hot. Oh, no. It's... A slidey thing. <laughs> it has thrown a couple people before. <laughs> so I am pretty excited to go play with this toy here. So I think that's where I'm going to be ending it here. Let's get all my lingerie into a bag out of the way. Oh, what is it still? Oh, that's right. I also forgot about lube. Okay, that's a thing. Because I mean, L lube's always good to have around, I guess. But let's get my lingerie. Oh, I kind of want to put these on and do a lingerie haul. But at the same time, I would like my video to be monetized. I also found out I probably won't go drop off a resume at the sex shop because I would like... Like, the main reason I wanted to go work at the sex shop was because I thought I'd be able to wear something like this and to work and then have like a lingerie body jumpsuit underneath. But apparently that's a no-go, so like, that's okay. I'll stick to where I'm at. If I can't wear lingerie, then I might as well just stick with massaging. Because either way, I can't wear lingerie. I don't fucking know what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to go play with my toy. That's what I want to do. So, we're going to go play with our toy. <laughs> Rawr. Okay. I feel like such an adult right now, though. I feel like an adult because I bought a sex toy. Okay. Cool your tits. Bam. Well, there's kids walking in the house with them shouting about dildos and lingerie. This is... <laughs> I'm just living my best life over here. What can I say? I'm gonna have a smoke. I still haven't found any friggin' to- Oh, my phone's over there. I was about to grab my phone to try to see if I got a message from my dealer. I don't have any weed right now. It's stressful. I might go to the dispensary with my coworkers when they get off work because a couple of people are going up to the dispensary so I might see if I can tag along with them. My roommate's also going to the dispensary over on the res at 9.30 when they get off work so I might go with them. But I was kind of hoping I'd have weed by now already so like that's a thing. I guess I'm gonna be ending it here. If you've enjoyed, be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button down below, and why not comment something to make it a triple threat? Who doesn't like a triple threat? My triple threat for the day is lube, vibrators, and lingerie. And bam, so I'll see you whenever I upload tomorrow's video.